hello friends welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing fine so guys i just want to use this opportunity to thank everyone that has subscribed to my channel and those of you that did this, this last past two week it was really massive i really appreciate you guys so back to what we want to do today is this diy that contains salt salt is a very effective ingredient and it's very it has a lot of potential you know so i want to introduce it to um uh, our beauty routine people normally use this also in their beauty routine so i would like to show you one of the things that you can use this sword and the importance on our skin so but this one i'm doing it precisely concerning when you have um other feet when your feet are smelling if you have dry feet okay but this salt is different from the kitchen salt that we use. The grays are first of all really big compared to the kitchen salt that we use. This salt contain, contain potassium, magnesium, calcium, and, and um, sodium. So it's very effective, especially during the winter and the dry season. So if your skin is dull, you can use this one and you will try to balance your pH on your skin. So um this salt now so the kind of people that are supposed to use this salt is good for adults like both men and women so if you are those people that do a lot of sport it's very good for you also it will help you to release pains it will decrease inflammation and also it will improve blood circulation it will clean your body you know it will give you that fine skin also guys it will give you that fine skin if you have cram on your feet if you're that kind of people that always have cram on the feet it will also help you so you can use it to pamper your skin also so now i'm going to show you what i have here is lavender so i have lavender now so lavender i've just blended the blended one that's the blended um lavender okay so i want it to really come out so it's really extract you know and the smell also for lavender i really really love lavender lavender is very good it has anti-fungi and anti inflammation property so if you are suffering also for eczema like i said this sea salt also is very good for skin disorder so if you are those of the if you are one of those people that suffer from skin disorder like rashes, eczema you know bacteria you know some kind of like fungi you know this is very good especially when we are using or, or when we are combining it with um this um lavina um flowers so let me say flowers <laughs> lavina flowers okay guys so this is very very good so and also this lavina um that i show you guys if you are suffering from um um low blood pressure please don't use this lavina so that's the salt grain like i told you it's different from the kitchen so you, you have seen the salt grain so lavina if you have low um low blood pressure please don't use this lavina don't use it it's not really good so i've just put some few spoon of salt there so i'm going to show you the rest of the things that i'll be using so now after um putting in the salt so you can see the salt see it's really the grays are really big the grays are really big like i said before this is the dry method that i want to do but if you don't have i don't know if, should i say time or you you feel reluctant of doing this you can still mix it the same way i've done it here then you use water there's also another one that you can use warm water after mixing everything that i've done here you just put it inside a bowl of warm water and soak your feet okay guys soak your feet maybe like from 20 minutes then you remove your feet and rinse it and you can also do the same metal put it inside a bag if you have this skin disorder like eczema, rashes, you know, those kind of um, um, allergy skin, you know. You can put it, you know, put a bowl of water or put water in your bath. Then put some, after this mixture, 
put the mixture inside your water so try to wait like five minutes so everything should dissolve then you soak your body inside guys like during evening when you want to go to your bed when you soak your body inside when you soak your body inside let me say up to 20 minutes then you come out don't wipe your body just try to like pamper so the water can go but don't really like wipe like the way you normally wipe your skin so just after then then you can rub your cream or better still you don't even use any cream this will really help you to release all those itching skin also but this one i want to use it for my feet okay guys i want to use this for my feet so i'm going to put some lemon lemon essential oil so lemon essential oil also is very very good so it helps to reduce inflammation and it also helps to ease some pains on your feet okay guys and it also serves like an antibacterial so lemon essential oil and please don't use this essential oil only like that on your skin they are very very dangerous don't use them like that on your skin so now i'm going to put tea tree oil tea tree oil also help to control odors and also keep bacteria produced as a result of inspiration so this tea tree oil is also very good especially like when you have your feet are smelling you know when you have those kind of smelling feet that or you, when you have this kind of feet that sweat a lot this tea because when your feet sweat like that it produces this gas then bacteria start and that's when you start having all those smelly feet so i'm just want to put a flavor that's um watermelon flavor that i'm putting in now so i just want it to have a like you know some kind of fresh smell you know it's very the smell is really good so so now because i say we should not use only essential oil on our skin so that's why i'm using a carrier oil like olive oil you can use any other carrier oil you can use jungle oil you can use um coconut or it just depend on you okay you just depend on you you can still use um um what's this other oil called uh i just forgot the name there's also one light oil i prefer using light oil you know i don't like using those heavy oil so i prefer light oil so i'm just going to mix oh my god this smells so nice and this mixture also is very very good guys it's very 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 good you can use this make mixture after mixing it like this you just put a small in your cup and put under your bed it will help you to sleep good if there's bad air in the room you know it will absorb all those bad air all those bad energy you understand so i just want to put the one that i want to be using inside yes because i don't want the smell to go out so that's why i'm using this kind of container so everything is going to stuck inside and sometimes what i normally do is that I will look for a small you know the air fresher um you can buy air fresher that the small one that you normally put in the fridge so i normally buy that one then put a little bit so if you, your fridge has order just put a little bit and put one one area in your fridge okay and it will always absorb that smell so you can change that you will see the soul the color will be changing all the color will be changing getting darker because it's really absorbing all the same the order from the fridge and the same time is killing james if there's any james inside the fridge guys so it will kill the james so what i have here is the remains so the way i want to use this is that after you've mixed everything like this you look for a good socks guys you look for a good socks okay you look for a very good socks put it this thing you have to do when you know you're about to sleep that when you climb on your bed you're not going to go down again to like you want to do one or two stuff so look for a socks both pair then you put it inside guys you put it inside the socks then you wear your socks back because you're going to sleep with this you're going to sleep because this one will extract any skin condition if your skin is dehydrated it will hydrate your skin so if your feet there's fungi in your feet you go to, you will you will have to improve the condition if you have other feet you're going to kill the other feet 
if you have these feet that are sweating is going to manage it and you will see very good result so you can do this for a week then from there maybe once in a week so if you are those people that have very smelling feet very smelly feet that you just want to key order then if you are having arthritis you know sometimes arthritis that's the socks i was saying look something like this a little socks or a very long socks because you have to wear it at night and sleep with it so that the socks should not throw on your bed so you can use these or you can wear a longer a longer socks okay so you can wear a longer socks or you can use this is the one i use here for me because i do it now once in a while sometimes when i have like pains joints pains you know when i have joint pain when my feet are really dry you know sometimes your feet are so dry that you you, you don't like them so that's why then i'll just try to like put some on my socks then wear it on my feet and sometimes if i don't feel like if i'm not sleeping very well you know i'm just sometimes you know when you go to bed you can't sleep you're just turning up turning down turning up i normally do this also and maybe after one or two days i start sleeping very well so this is very good guys this is very 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 good you know so when you wake up in the morning you will see how it look you know you will see how you look and you will feel good if you are having pains like cram or even pains on your feet you really really feel good and you will feel even if you're having acne because it goes into your body guys this thing goes into your body it extract it clean your system also okay so guys i have to leave it now here so you can try this at home it's not expensive then you're going to um a salon and you'll be paying a lot of money why can't you do this at home guys why can't you do it at home so anyway thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe bye